Your customers rely on you for the parts and supplies they need to get the job done. But they may also often ask you about the tools required for the job. Bleeding the brakes or flushing brake fluid is a task that can be performed in multiple different ways. One of the most well-known is getting the help of an assistant to pump the brake pedal as you open and close the bleeder valves at each wheel. While they are holding pressure on the pedal, you open the bleeder so fluid and air is forced out. While they are holding the pedal to the floor, you close the bleeder so when they release the pedal, old fluid and air is not drawn back into the brake system. This is an effective method, but it has one drawback. You need an assistant, and you may not always have one, especially for a DIYer working on a vehicle at home. In these situations, they may benefit from a tool called a speed bleeder. A speed bleeder comes in two different ways. One is a piece of hose which you connect to any bleeder screw. Located in the hose is a check valve and the end of the hose is placed in a container to catch the old brake fluid. These are universal to use on any vehicle. The other looks exactly like a brake bleeder screw, but a check valve is built into the bleeder. These are specific to application. When you depress the brake pedal, fluid is forced through the check valve and into the container. When you release the brake pedal, the check valve closes and prevents old fluid and air from being drawn back into the system. Speed bleeders can be a useful tool, but on many newer vehicles with anti-lock braking systems, manual bleeding may not be adequate to force all air from the system. In some situations, a pressure bleeder is required. The next time you have a customer bleeding brakes or flushing fluid, you already know the primary things they need. Brake fluid, a container, rags, and cleaning supplies. Now you can answer their questions about tools. Thanks for watching.